another video. Again, it is extra early. I don't know why I like doing these videos it's so dang on early. <laughs> But let's go ahead and get into the video. In today's video, I am going to be doing a comparison between the shingling method and the raking method. I use both methods just depending on how I want my hair to look that day or that week or whatever. And I have never done a comparison at the same time. So on one side, I'm going to do the raking method and then on the left side, I'm going to be doing the shingling method. So, if you want to see how my hair looks and the pros and cons of each method, just keep watching. I'm also about to go in and I'm going to clarify my hair because if you watched my previous video, you know that I use some products that cause my hair to flake. Um, this is my hair. It still has some definition in it. It's just flaky. It's white. It's snowing. So, I, I got to get that. I got to get that out of my hair. So it's been about three days. I'm gonna wash that out, and um, it has it had a silicone in it. And I mean, I um I use products with silicones in them. So I decided today that I'm gonna clarify my hair, and this is what I'm gonna clarify my hair with. Um, I have used this before, and yeah. So I'll be back when my hair is all um washed, deep conditioned, and I'll be back. All right, you guys, I am back, and what I did was I washed my hair with the Suave Daily Clarifying Shampoo, and then I detangled my hair with the Aunt Jack is on my wash instant detangling therapy. I did not do a deep conditioner because I don't feel like I need a deep conditioner. Um, I just washed my hair Thursday. Today is Sunday because I did the Mono's hair review on Thursday. Today, again, is Sunday, so I don't feel like I need to deep condition my hair. Um, if you are wondering what my hair felt like after using the clarifying shampoo, um, once while it was in there, it felt moisturized. Once I washed it out, it did feel a little stripping, but not so stripping that I feel like I need to do a deep, deep conditioner um, treatment. So I feel like the Aunt Jackets was enough to put some more moisture back in my head. In my hair, if you see like some white stuff, I did go in with my Myel Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This is the conditioner I'm going to be using today to do my wash and go. One with the raking side and one with the um, shingling side. I am going to put some more on my hair once I get to each section, but I do feel like um, I used to just, you know, pull my hair from under the sink and um, start doing my hair and, you know, the sections would start getting, the sections would start getting drier faster. So what I would do is... Um, what I have learned to do is just put some type of leave-in or something in my hair while my hair is soaking wet. And then that tends to help with dry, you know, drying of my hair. My hair feeling really dry, you know, because it didn't have any product on it before I got to it. So that is why I put leave-in conditioner or whatever I'm going to use as a leave-in at the sink while my hair is soaking wet before I even start the process of doing my hair. All right, yeah, so my choice of styler that I'm going to be using today is the Ampro Pro Gel Clear Ice Ultra Hold Protein Styling Gel. Um, I actually like this better than the wet line. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I just feel like it just gets my curls looking the way that I want them to look. I'm not sure if it's because it has the protein in it. I'm not sure. But you do need to be careful with protein products because some people's hair um, are protein, they are protein sensitive. So I just want to throw that out there. I don't have any issues with that. As you can see, like I haven't put any extra moisturizing product in my hair except for the meal. And like I said, this was just at the sink and I didn't even um, section my hair out. So this is a good product. I really recommend it. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit more. Smooth it in. I have already tangled my hair at the sink with my shower comb. Just to make sure. And then I'm going to go in with my dimming brush to smooth.
and then take a smaller section and um on this side i am going to rake my hair so right side rake we're going to rake the right side and then we are going to um shingle the left side so i just put as much gel as i feel like i need on my hair make sure you get those roots and i basically apply how i used to apply my eco styler gel just you know until i feel like my hair is smoothed out so did you just see what i just did i just smoothed it all the way down and then i let it go and that is the raking method let me do it one more time so you guys can see what the raking method is start my product on my edges of course just to make sure that my edges lay flat and then I go in with my gel down the shaft of my hair making sure to get the ends smoothing it in Frizziness going on on here. So this section here is a little big, so smooth all the way down and then I let go. So as you can see, this method doesn't really take that long because all you're doing is smoothing, raking, and letting go. There is also another method called the prayer hands method um, where you kind of go like this, just really smoothing and letting go. But I don't, I don't, I haven't really, really, really used that method. I do smooth, but I don't do the prayer hands method. So I just want to throw it out there that there is another method. If you feel like your wash and go just, you know, isn't doing what you want to do, it's different methods that you can try to get your curls to do what you want them or the curls do what they want to do but <laughs> to try to encourage them to do what you want them to do if that makes sense So now we are going to do the shingling method on the left side. And again, the dimming brush I use to just really smooth my hair. It can be used as a detangling brush, but I don't. I make sure my hair, for the most part, is detangled before I go in with the dimming brush. Because if not, you may be losing some strands of hair. The shingling method is pretty much... I go in with the gel the same way I go in with the gel when I rake, except for the shingling method is more about definition, movement. I tend to get more, more days out of my wash and go when I shingle my hair and I work in a smaller section. So this section, so then I take my hair and I take like a small piece and I smooth it down. I take a small piece and I smooth it down. I take another small piece, smooth it down. Small piece, smooth, smooth. All right, let's do this section here. <clears throat> 
and I swing it. And I smooth, 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 smooth from the roots of my hair. I include the roots in the smoothing process. And I don't go back through, like with the raking method, you can go back through and rake your hair. I don't do that. When I when I do the shingling method, once I'm done with that section, I don't touch it again until my hair is dry. I may pull something apart every now and again, but as far as me going back through um, bothering that section, I do not do that. Because that defeats the whole purpose. All right, so here you take, you smooth. You smooth. You smooth, you smooth, you smooth, and you smooth. You smooth, you smooth, you smooth, you smooth, and you smooth, and you smooth. All right, so you can tell just from that back section, this looks a little different than this side. I am done with both sides. Again, this is the shingling side. This is the raking side. I said I was going to go back in with a little bit more gel on this side because it just looks like it's trying to dang on, um, freeze up a little bit. But then again, like I said, it really just depends on what you are looking for from your wash and go. If you don't mind a little bit of freeze, then... You can leave it, you know, the way it was, but I kind of like my hair to be as defined as it can be. Now, if it does get a little frizzy, I'm fine with it too, um, because I do plan on picking it and fluffing it and all that stuff. So that's going to cause a little bit of frizz, but <clears throat> I do kind of like my hair to dry is less frizz freeze prone or freezy as, as can be. Again, if that makes any sense. See, see, I can go back through this side because I rake this side. I can go back through and bother that side. Over here, I don't too much mess with this side because the only thing I may do, like sometimes I may see like a curl that may have a little bit of freeze to it. I may do that but the way that I go over there and manipulate this side I don't do over there on this side because this area right here is going to give me an issue okay all right I'm going to turn around and let you guys see what my hair looks like in the back and I'm going to put my mirror up so that I can see as well this side is the raking side and this side is the shingling side And I'm just gonna let it dry. I may get under my bonnet dry, I'm not sure. I have hair in my mouth. I may get under my bonnet dry, I'm unsure at the, at the moment. I have some stuff I need to do, but um, I will come back when it is all dry and let you see, but I do see kind of a difference um, just now, you know, in my hair on each side. This side looks a little bit more bigger clumped and this side looks a little bit you know singularly clumped if you can if you understand what i'm saying but anyways i'll be back <clears throat> all right guys it is the next day and i just want to come back and let you see how my hair is looking at this point i don't really think there is too much of a difference it does look like do you see a difference i mean it's a little bit of a difference but some people to the naked eye you can't really see but it does look like the right side is a little bit more stretched or elongated versus the shingle side. So, 
I just wanted to come back and let you guys see what my hair was looking like. All right. I think I am ready to go. <clears throat> Fluff it a little bit. At night, I do, um, at night, I do, um, band my hair just to keep it elongated. And I also wanted to just come back on here and say <clears throat> there are pros and cons to each side. If you are looking for a more um, elongated look, you should go with this side, but it does have more frizz on this side. And if you want a more slick put together look, I don't know, I think both looks um, you can wear with slick put together looks, but if you want like a more defined curl, you will go with the shingling method and it has less frizz. So I'm gonna turn around, let you see how what my, my hair look look blah 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 blah. What my hair is looking like in the back. So like I said, if you have any um questions, just put them down in the comment bar. And um please like this video if you liked my video and um please subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 not sub subscribe subscribe okay subscribe sister subscribe <laughs> and until next time peace